to come into with the video for you guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix allow access to photos for any apps that are missing that access so let's get started so now first thing you want to do if you're having this issue is simply check out that in the settings for your phone so we're on iOS 16 here but in privacy and security here you're going to click on that and you'll see this option for photos here you click on that and once you click on that you'll see the apps that currently have access to your photos but once you do that you also notice that if you click for example click on Facebook here it has access to selected photos so what that means is that the ones that you selected so far are the only ones that it has access to you can edit that selection by clicking on that and then you can select whichever photos you want to give access and hit done and then it will give access to those now if you want to will give access to all photos you have this option here where it says all photos now you don't have to select individual one which would probably be the one that you would try if you're having issues just to make sure it's not the issue now if it's selected none that's an issue right there because you don't want that if you're allowing access make sure you have all photos or selected photos now the other place to check is make sure you check out the apps that you are having issues with it here in that list but Going back to the main settings page here, you also see the apps are listed at the bottom here. So for example, this time we'll go on Instagram and then you'll see here now this option where it allows photos here, we'll click on that and as you can see here by default it's going to be on selected photos. Again, you can go ahead and select the photos that you want or give access to pretty much all photos here. So those are a couple of things you want to check out. Now after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is go back to settings here if you're still having issues go check out this option for screen time. Once you click on screen time, you might not have this set up, but if you do have set it up, it's gonna come up with a menu just like this, and then you'll look for this content and privacy restriction, and you'll click on that content and privacy restriction, and as you can see in the privacy here, where it says photos here, you're gonna allow pretty much to see that it allow, allow changes, for example, and then you're gonna also check out the apps that you're having issues with. So example, if you're having issues with any of the apps here you also want to make sure if it's selected to select the photos or give access to all photos here as well so those are a couple places to check out your settings what your apps not having access or allow access to photos now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to do is simply go ahead and delete the app and reinstall it again the, to do that you're going to find the app that you're having issues for example if I'm having issues with Twitter not being able to have access to photos I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold and it'll pop up this menu click on remove app and then I'll delete app and then it'll give me one more confirmation to delete it I'm gonna hit delete and then go back to the app store and look for the app that you deleted so Twitter in our case and we're gonna get, click on get here and it's gonna ask me to reinstall it one more time or you might see a cloud icon as well click on that to reinstall it which will install it again as you can see here and once it does reinstall it you can try to log back into your account and once you try to log back in your account it's going to ask you things like allow notification allow camera access allow mic access allow photo access and in that part you can select it and give access to your photos now if you're still having the issue now with the allow photo access the next thing you want to do is a force restart on your phone to do that you're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button just like that we're not going to slide to power off we're going to wait till the screen goes completely black just like that and once it does that just like that we're going to wait till the apple logo reappears and we're going to let go of that button and that's going to do a force restart fixing any sort of software or minor issues that you're having this method will not delete any photos videos your apps or anything of that of your data it's just going to be reloading the code and give it a nice fresh restart and then we're going to go back into the phone by putting our passcode in once you do that it's going to be just like that now if you're still having the issue of photo access not being allowed on certain apps you're going to go into settings and this time we're going to go to general and then scroll all the way down where it says transfer or reset iPhone you click on that and then you click on the option for reset the first one and you see there's an option for reset all settings but before you click on that couple things here what this will do is reset all of your settings themselves like network setting things like Wi-Fi or VPN settings your 
keyboard setting, home screen layout settings, and location privacy setting. All of these settings, but it's necessity to do if you're having issues with the photo access not being allowed. But keep in mind, it will not delete any things like photo, video, or apps, any personal data that you have, just the settings themselves. This will take about two to three minutes to do. And once you do that, hopefully it resolves your issue. Now, if you're still having the issue after doing that, it's time to go back into your main settings again. And this time, go to general, software update, and making sure your phone is up to date as a last resort and could potentially fix it if a previous update broke the phone or if it had issues giving access. You want to make sure that your phone is up to date by doing a download and install the latest version which uh, Apple recommends as well. And this will going to take between half an hour to 45 minutes or even longer or shorter depending on how big that update it is. But you want to make sure you're connected to good a uh, Wi-Fi connection or a cellular data while you're doing it and power source as well because it will not install if your power like our phone is below 20%. So hopefully this quick little video was helpful resolving the issue of allowing access to photos on an app. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. While you're at it, we want to hear from you guys if you found a better solution. Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.